everybody, it's Paige Evans and I'm back with a new quick and easy process video to share with you today. I love when layouts come together so fast, when the inspiration strikes and an idea comes and you just go with it and that's basically what this layout is. So this is paper 19 from my Pick Me Up collection with Pink Paisley. It's got all these frames on it and I started by picking which frames I wanted to cut out kind of took me a minute to figure out the placement of exactly which ones I wanted to cut out. Ended up choosing a few different ones and then I used an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat to cut out the insides. You could just use a fine tipped pair of scissors or a paper cutter. This is just what worked for me. Um, yeah, so just carefully cut out the insides of the frames that you want to... I'm going to back these open frames with photos of Cute Jane, hence the title of this layout is going to be Cute Jane. These were taken just a couple weeks ago on a Sunday before church. She, when she wears cute clothes, she comes down the stairs and she says, I look so fashion. <laughs> yes, you do look very fashion. Just trimming out the photos. I printed them at home on my printer so I could get whatever size that I wanted. They needed to be very small to fit behind these frames. And here I'm just figuring out the placement of the pictures, which ones I want to go where. And then to help them stand out, or just to add a little bit more dimension, I'm going to use foam adhesive. So I will place them on the backs. Just a little square. and then remove the protective backing and then place it over the photos. Just have to center them so they are framed and her head isn't cut off. If there's any excess sticking off the edges, I trim that off. And then I'm going to spend the next little while adding bits and pieces from my Pick Me Up collection inside all of the little frames. So really, you can't go wrong here. As long as the sticker or embellishment fits inside the frame, it's going to end up looking really cool and colorful and fun. And so I started with the 6x12 stickers and moving on to the rub-ons to fit inside a couple of frames, adding die cuts, I'm going to do the journaling on that little square. It says the sweet life. Adding some puffy stickers. Jane loves birds. So anytime I can add birds to a layout, I do that. More chipboard stickers, flower die cuts, sentiments, moving things around here and there just uh, to fit placement better. Using the new thickers to say love. I thought that fit perfectly in that space. And then here's where I'm creating the title of Cute Jane using the mini white foam stickers. I love how many thickers you get on this set. A trio of sequins from the haberdashery kit. A little piece of washi tape, the cute moths. And then I am applying the rub-ons with the popsicle stick that comes in the rub-ons. To help the stickers not be so flat, I'm just going to add a little bit of dimensional adhesive to the back so it pops off the page. And then add machine stitching through the top of this pennant sticker. I love adding machine stitching details. So I did a straight stitch and a little zigzag stitch. Sometimes I keep the thread ends long. In this case, I'm just going to trim them down a little bit. And then write my journaling. I always write it with a pencil first to make sure I like it. Go over it with a pen and erase any pencil lines showing through. And that's it. So easy. This came together so fast and I love how it highlights all of the different products from Pick Me Up. And I hope you are inspired to do the same. Thank you so much.